Welcome back guys, I'm Brian J and I am so glad that you guys are here. Today we have a highly requested video and I'm so excited to talk about it because we are talking about Miss South Africa, one of the powerhouses. And this is my final prediction for the 2020, 2020, 22 edition that's what i meant but before we begin if you don't follow me on instagram go ahead and do it real brian j it would mean a lot to me you can dm me you can ask me questions you can find out when i upload a video the fastest way over there also if you're on youtube go ahead and subscribe because it would mean absolutely the universe to me likes comments shares even when you view it means a lot to me it means so so much so i appreciate you thank you for being here and i hope you enjoy and interact with me comment go boom <laughs> thank you but let's go ahead and deep dive into my top five of miss south africa 2022 now first i have actually a tie because i could not figure out which girl to put in my top five so let's begin with tasmian so <sighs> This pains me because she was my favorite since the start of the pageant. I have been absolutely in love with her since actually last year. But she has so much to offer. And I feel like this stunning girl is not believing that she deserves to be in this pageant. For some reason, I see a lack of energy in her and it was something that didn't worry me at the beginning and now seeing how good this group of girls is and also thinking about the perspective in an international stage it makes me wonder how can she stand out with this maybe kind of coy shy uh personality that she's projecting in these last few weeks so it really does worry me even though she is one of my favorites and i would love to see her at miss universe but for now i have her tied in my fourth spot and with my with my in my fifth spot sorry and my fifth spot also i have pearl now pearl is so elegant she's sophisticated she's charming and i look at her and i see miss world on her i see that miss world aura but i'm not sure how far she could get and in such a competitive and great personality and speaking skills group i'm not sure if she can crack a top uh three so let's see what happens but for now i have them in my fifth spot after that i have level gang now she has been a top five spot in a previous year and nothing is promised we've seen it in prior years before that girls have made the top five and then they return and they don't make the top five but she is very relatable she is laid back she seems uh like someone that knows what she's doing she doesn't seem forced and that is something that i really really enjoy from her and i can also see her with one of those crowns which one i'm not exactly sure i haven't pinpointed exactly she hasn't given me the vibe of one or another of the titles but i'm absolutely allured with her and i really really like her and i wouldn't mind seeing her be crowned now i'm gonna go into my top three in previous years, Miss South Africa hasn't given the crown or the title of each pageant because they do give Supra, World, and uh, Universe. So I'm going to go ahead and mention them in this order. And uh, honestly, any of them can win at this point. But let's go with who I would choose for Supra. Now, Supra, I would probably choose Ayanda. She is a ball of power. She has so much confidence. Uh, she projects that security. And I really, really enjoy that. And I believe that that's something that they're gonna need for a girl that is gonna be looking for a back-to-back -back, since La Layla has just won Miss Supra. They need someone that is conf confident. They need someone that believes in themselves. And I believe that this girl has that ability to do that. Also, as you're gonna see in all these girls, the personalities are there. The warmth is there. And I believe that that is one of the most difficult things that has made me uh, kind of get stuck because some of these girls and the girls that I'm mentioning right now just have so much to give personality wise. It's kind of really cool. <laughs> but after that, I have Miss World. Who would I send to Miss World? I would say Ndavi. 
Now, Endavi has so much personality, it captures me. I wanna be her best friend. She feels real. She feels like not forced. I, I, can, I can relate to her. Like I said, I just wanna be her best friend. I can really feel the energy. Apart from the beauty that she has, I believe that South Africa, Miss South Africa can give the tools necessary that these girls need to place very, very high. And she could give a fight for a Miss World title. We've been doing, or South Africa has been doing, sorry, I'm including myself as South African now. Um, South Africa has been doing such a good job at Miss World, and I believe that this girl can continue that streak. Now, my winner, my winner for Miss South Africa 2022 is... Luyanda. Now, again, the personality in this girl, the beauty, the statuesque, the body, everything is there for a Miss Universe uh, potential winner. I believe that this girl can also continue the streak in Miss Universe. And this girl is such a breath of fresh air. She's the girl next door. She has this energy. I love how real she is. Um, I was watching some of the South Africa episodes of the like the little reality show that they have. And I like how real she was. I like when she, you know, was not afraid to tell uh, people what the worst thing people on social media has told her. Like she wasn't afraid to say it and she knew that it was important to speak it. So I believe that this girl is probably the best choice for South Africa to go to Miss Universe. Now, I wanna hear your opinion. I know this was a shorter video, but I wanted to get it out for you guys, and I want you guys to know my opinion, and I honestly wanna see if I can get it right again. We got it right with La Leila. Let's see if we can get it with Luyanda. I'm really excited because South Africa has the potential of having three great representatives at international pageants, and I am sure that they will do really, really good, just like they did this year. So I wanna thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you think is gonna be the new Miss South Africa. Am I missing someone? Should I, you know, put someone else? Who do you think is gonna win? What do you think about my opinions on each girl? I want to hear from you. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you later because it is past my bedtime. So bye guys. Take care. Thank you.